Hey everybody, I'm back again, and today we're just gonna cut straight to the chase. I'm gonna um, show you something called the Bit Vault by a company called Lever Gear, and I think uh, I think you'll get a kick out of it. Not gonna get crazy today. Just gonna cut straight to. The... Well, uh, who are you? I'm you, but I'm tiny. Oh man, this is gonna take forever to edit. So, uh, so what's the deal with this thing? Gonna yeah, it, but gonna... I gotta get you out of here, man. No, dude, you, got, you gotta go. Here, hold on. All right. Um, so the bit vault, I got one here, and magically, I have another one right here, um, so you can check it out. It's a little uh, capsule. It's all metal, it's waterproof. As the name implies, it does use use bits, right? One, two. So you can use bits in it. The main, I guess, purpose you could say is for being a bit holder, right? So you can put these little bits in here and use it as a screwdriver. You can go from the top or the side, so you can crank it. It's got storage for the bits on the inside. And the whole thing removes out. It's got a pocket clip on the back. It's got, all this, it's got all this good stuff. It can do more than just that. You can hold a lot of stuff in this. It, it's pretty much limited to whatever you can figure out and fit in here. Whatever you can come up with and fit in here. So those are the two sides, right? Because you can come up with all sorts of stuff, but it doesn't fit in here, then you're out of luck. Today we're gonna go over what it does, how it does it, and some of the things that I think it would be good for. So. What? You get to carry this over that there. That weighs like twice as much as I do. I can't get it done, man. You can figure it out. I got faith in you. Yes. All right. Nice job, Tiny Me. So, the Bit Vault. A lot of the tools that I've covered on here have the ability to push a bit driver, but don't actually have any carry capacity. So like a little while ago, we were talking about the, uh, I talked to him and he said it's not Rook, the, uh, the Ruck, the Ruck like yuck. The Ruck can push bit drivers, but it doesn't have the ability to store one on here. So these would be a perfect pair right here. You can keep your bits in here, take them out, and you could use them in here if you wanted to. So if you wanted to have a knife with here, you know, if you wanted to have the dual utility of, of both things, you could use both or, you could just use this one if you wanted to. I mean, you could use this by itself. It's not gonna have a knife on it. You could keep a razor in here. I mean, there's no reason why you couldn't. Um, one really cool thing about this system is these dividers that are inside are all modular. So they're removable. And you can use all three of them or you can use none of them, right? So you could anything that you can fit in this bay right here. And this is waterproof, which is pretty cool. The inside is plastic. The outside is metal. Um, the tip right here, this end is metal so that it can hold a bit and not get torn up, right? And there's a magnet in there. So if you turn it upside down, it's not gonna fall out. You do have a carabiner clip on here that works really good if you happen to have like some keys or something. If you had like, like say your car keys were attached to this, you can click it on real fast. And it also has a pocket clip on the back and removable. So if you take a Torx driver, I like that they did that. Like that's very adaptable for the user. Like some people are gonna want a pocket clip and some people aren't. You can, uh, this is a lot smoother in the pocket now with that clip detached. So because there's still a little hole in the side, you can still use this as a driver and there's a magnet both ways, so it won't fall out. So um, to get on to some of the other things that are really cool about this, you can put bits in here if you want. You could put bits in here, you don't have to. You could put whatever you want in here. And I came up with some suggestions. So one thing you could use this for is a pillbox, right? I mean, that's a pretty straightforward idea. With the dividers in, it's tricky, right? It's a little bit of tetrising around, trying to get everything fit. The pills start getting kind of chewed up. I have a mix of ibuprofen, Excedrin, and aspirin in here. But I found if you take those out, and since it's waterproof, you don't have to worry about the medicine getting messed up with stuff, which is kind of nice. So with the dividers out of it, it frees up some space, and I could fit, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, uh, Excedrin, eight aspirin, and two ibuprofens in there. Um, all right, hold on a second. So here, here's another loadout you could check out. So now you can fit a lot of ultralight hikers, take Q-tips and cut them in half. A full-length Q-tip's not gonna fit in here, but you can fit a, uh, a half-length one in there, and you can fit a bunch, a little army. Q-tips. A Q-tip might seem like a trivial thing to have with you when you're out running around. Uh, one time I was hiking and a, uh, a lady had a spider run into her ear canal, which was really, uh, really freaky. Me and my buddy walked around a bunch of redwood trees and there was two people and one of them was freaking out, rolling all over the ground. And her friend goes, my friend has a spider in her ear. And uh, it was not wanting to come out. Water 
didn't work. It was just going down deeper. It was pointing like eyes out of her ear, which is really gross. Eventually the lady had some Q-tips in her backpack and what she ended up doing was kind of like putting it near the front and the spider put its feet out to touch the Q-tip and she just pulled it real fast and they got little hooks on the ends of their legs and it just like pulled it right out of her ear. Without that, I don't know how she would have got that spider out of her ear. That is another idea. Let me show you something else. So close it back up. Whenever I go hiking or camping or whatever, I always like to have, uh, any hiker or camper will tell you, having the ability to start a fire is really important to cook your food. You can sterilize water that way. It's just, there's a billion ways to keep you warm. If it's really cold, there's a billion ways. And I like to have, I always call it the rule of three. I always have a, a like a disposable lighter, like one of these guys, right? A little Bic lighter, right? I like to have one of these. I like to have a ferro rod, like one of these guys. I've used this thing in like every single video that I've made. If one of those fails, let's say the lighter gets like something dropped on it and the fuel leaks out or the ferro rod, you know, you can't find something to strike it on. For whatever reason, let's say those two options are gone. Now you potentially could use, I took an entire book of matches and cut all the matches off. I have a bunch of cotton and then from the matchbook, I took the striker pad and folded it in half and the cotton is great for tender, right? Because it has a lot of air pockets in it and it's very filamenty, like light filaments. So you got a little fire starting and it's waterproof, which is great. If it rained, you can count on this still work. Another option right there. So you can use it for medication. You could use it for fire starting. Let's see what else we could do with this. So in my free time, one of the things that I like to do a lot is I do a lot of nature photography, right? So I'm out wandering around a camera and all sorts of environments. So another use that you could use this for, memory storage. So you got two large memory card readers. All right, so these have two cards each and then I got a bunch of assorted memory cards. And then this is one of those cleaning lens cloths that I just cut down to about quarter size. You don't need a huge cloth to clean your lens. You just need enough to keep in contact and you know, get all the dust or water or whatever. And this, these microfiber cloths are really absorbent. One of the most important things as a photographer is your memory that's that's your film you could be out in the middle of nowhere and have a really awesome place to do a shoot in and the next thing you know your memory is compromised and now you can't take pictures of anything which would totally suck another use you could uh, this one's a little bit less crucial to survival but you can fit gum in here one two three four five six pieces of gum and that's something that people carry around you know want to make sure your breath stays fresh and we're back full circle to bits again. And that's what we started with the two bits. This comes with a Phillips and a flathead and I just added another four in there to show the capacity. If you just wanted to use it as a bit driver by itself, that's pretty capable. One thing I noticed is it does, it does have a little bit of rattle to it, right? Like if you have just bits or if you pick something, like if you put a ton of aspirin or breath mints or Tic Tacs, it's gonna rattle a little bit. But if you get a little bit creative, I found a, uh, a workaround, the shakiness. If you take a bill, like any type of currency and fold it, it will work as a little bit of a buffer. There we go. It deadens the shaking a lot, that bill. I think just as a rule of thumb, that wouldn't be a bad thing. It doesn't take up a whole lot of room. You'd use whatever denomination you wanted to. Depends on how creative, resourceful, Illuminati you want to get. I used a dollar because that Illuminati joke doesn't work with a 20 or a 10 or a 100 because they don't have the creepy pyramid on there. It's never bad to have a little bit of extra cash on you just in case. It's really limited by what you can come up with. An interesting thing that a lot of ultralight hikers do is they take drinking straws, like clear drinking straws, and they'll put whatever they want in there. Sometimes it's cooking spices or it might be medication or it could be fire starting supplies. And they'll put whatever that is in those straws and then they take a pair of pliers and a lighter and heat crimp it down. This would be perfect for that. You could use each one of these six little channels for a different thing. You could use like pepper and salt for cooking, or you could use antibiotics. You could use uh, oil and oil infused tenders to start a fire. This model is the driver only version. They do have a version that has a rechargeable flashlight built into the front right here. I think there's two LEDs on both sides and they recharge by USB. So that would give you even one more function. You have a flashlight, driver, whatever you could fit in here. All right, so let me get to my uh, my pros, cons, and final, final thoughts. Pros. First, what I like the most, uh, build quality is great. Materials that they used are fantastic. It has a great fit and finish. It fits very well together when it's closed. It's good. Uh, the buttons are a little bit hard to manipulate, but you don't want this popping open on you. And with practice, you get used to it. The way it works is there's these two metal kind of like clips right here and you have to push them in and then they have clearance to go inside the casing. It pops out, right? And then it's it's secure again. Really like the carabiner clip. The pocket clip is nice. There's nothing I would change about this model. Cons, it's not a complaint with this specific 
specific unit, but I wish they made a larger size, like almost Altoid 10. Uh, that's, a, that's a very classic size for a survival kit. One of these in that size would be awesome. Same opening mechanism and everything, but just be, you know, larger. That, I think that would be super cool. Um, the other thing, and I don't know if this is possible because there might be a patent issue here, but Leatherman makes these bit and they're flat this way. And if you turn it this way, they're very thin. So they're about half the size of a regular bit. I was really hoping that these would fit in here, but they won't because they don't bottom out. But if you cut this in half right down the middle, it would definitely fit in here and you'd basically get two tools for the price of each bit slot. So that'd be a huge benefit. If you are interested in picking one of these up, if you use the code S, ugh, where is my phone? Where is my phone? I'm never gonna remember this. If you use the code SC13LG10, you'll get 10% off of uh, anything you buy on Levergear's site. You go know, check out, I'll put a link in my uh, description. I think they have, it's like free shipping on anything over 75 bucks, I'm pretty sure. Let me check, hold on a second. I don't wanna give you guys false information. Yeah, anything over 75 bucks right now, they're doing free shipping. They make these in uh, this color, the black and a silver version, and they're $49.95, but I think you get like 10% off that if you use that code. Uh, it's a little pricey for a screwdriver, but you know, it's well made and it's more than just your standard regular screwdriver. There's a lot of store. There's literally somebody walking on the roof of my apartment right now. It is super freaking hot. I live in San Jose, California, and it is crazy hot right now. It was like 100 something degrees, and I think the air conditioners are probably having some problems. I don't know where y'all live, but this is too hot for me. I like it, they, and they don't just sell this product. They sell a ton of other stuff too. They have some survival cards that uh, they sent me one of those to review, so I think I'm gonna do that in, a, in another review on another day. Definitely check out their site, and uh, yeah, check them out. They seem like a really nice group of people. I, I shot emails back and forth with one of their marketing reps and she was super nice and uh, very helpful with any questions that I had. They take a lot of pride in their work. You can tell that she just had a huge amount of information about how they develop their stuff and what they've put into it. And uh, they just seem like nice people, good folks. I always like that when I reach out and talk to people and they're just, you know, real receptive. Sometimes you run into people and they basically either, you know, don't talk to you at all or are super bristly. It kind of sucks, but it's always nice running into nice folks. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. So yeah, The Bit Vault by uh, Levergear. Go check it out. All right, have a good one. Hey, I'm back. Are we, uh, are we gonna do the review now? Is that on the vaulty bitty driver thing? Oh, well, like and subscribe.